Hello everyone, welcome to Noble Creative Tutorials and today we are going to see another new video tutorial of Stardust series and getting to know the first node by creating confetti in Stardust in no time. So let's get started. So after create your composition and apply Stardust to your layer, so let's change a type emir to box and give a size x maybe one thousand around around that and for size x let's put that five hundred and change the z region to maybe just out there and living speed at 100 and give particle per second to 500 and leave everything as it is and on particles going to leave the shape to circles and give life to five seconds some random life random 50 and on particles properties let's change the size to maybe eight and give also maybe 10 or maybe 50 to give some random size and for particle color let's change to random from gradient and change our gradient to maybe something more colorful let's choose that one and so everything we're going to leave it as it is and when we're going to preview that you would see uh, particles just going to emit and keep like that let's change the uh, particle over life opacity to start from let's see what we have here in Okay, let's change uh, change to this one and just give it some nice fade in and fade out. I'm going to have something like that. This need to be start off screen. Let's change the origin C X uh, X and Y to out of the comp and we're going to have something like that for now. So now we're going to duplicate our particle node, control D, and we have a new one. Let's rename that to circle. And when you name it, we're going to the Stardust interface, uh, the node is going to be updated. So on second one, let's change our shape to rectangle and let's name that as well to rectangle rectangle one because we're going to create another duplicate for that and so nothing actually changed because let's change the particle color to solid to see what I mean to give you another tip on Stardust today um, for now we need to connect the rectangle to the same emitter and we're going to have our rectangle on same position of the circles and so to actually change the position of the rectangle we just need to go on shift seeds and change that maybe to 50 and we're going to have random position of the particles that emit from the same emitter so now we have something like this let's choose uh, random from gradient and maybe change to another one so something like that and on particle let's give a uh, same size and size random to be random as well and keeping the ratio and everything as it is and let's do another duplicate this is going to be the second one 
Let's organize those nodes. Let's connect our second rectangle to a mirror and the same we're going to have the same uh, rectangle or rectangles on same position so we need to change the shifts see it maybe to one hand and those are going to show up maybe we can give it more random and choose maybe another gradient so we have something like this for now and so what we're going to do is uh, let's add another uh, node turbulence node and let's connect this turbulence maybe just to this second rectangle and just to give some uh, variations and uh, let's offset the position maybe 100 and to leave everything as it is just to make things randomly so we're only affecting the turbulence affecting only this blockchain of nodes and so it affects only these rectangles if we are not connecting this uh, node to anything is going to affect everything uh, all of the latest nodes so we're going to affect only this rectangle and now we're going to add our uh, first node that we're going to talk about today and when you just apply the first node nothing happened everything is the same and the first node is simulating the gravity or forces of like uh, natural physics forces and on the gravity maybe we're going to give it uh, around that gravity random and you see like things start going uh, down and and here we see like those rectangles don't like they are just don't rotate or anything we're just going to rectangles and then change the speed x y and c to give it some variations and rotation speed random and the same for the other one just to give random rotations with 30 20 and maybe 10 and speed random so we have like as you see here we have this these rectangles rotate while it is we have some floating it's i think from this turbulence going to change that um we scale up this the noise scale so it's not uh too too much frequency maybe these dots are too big on circles going to change the size random we give it up just five and so the first node is giving us that gravity simulation to this confetti as we see it's really going like to to the ground let's add more and we can add the wind x as you see if you add the wind uh, like they are going to be moving like this way and just we're going to add maybe just five and on c like maybe toward the camera and on spine we don't need them to spine too much just a little bit 
and there's air density which is i think the air uh, like air resistance as you see if we crank that up like they have like the the, the resistance going up let's add zero and so let's preview this and there's nice rotations speed uh, like accelerate accelerating So as you see in this preview, it's maybe too fast. We can just uh, uh, change the emitter speed to maybe half of that. And as you see, it's going nicely. And so the first node is, um, is affecting all these nodes here. So we can connect those or leave it, it's the same, it's going to do the same. So just remember when you are not connecting the node to any other nodes is affecting everything. And let's say we just want the first to be affected only in this two. So this one is not affected by the force. So this was the tutorial of today. Hope it was very useful for Sardas beginner users. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more Sardas videos coming soon. Thank you for watching.